Hi, my name is uh, Christian Corey. Uh, I'm an experimental test pilot at Sikorsky Aircraft, and uh, I had the honor of flying the CH-53K here at uh, ILA Berlin. It was the uh, aircraft's international debut, and uh, obviously it's the first time in uh, flying overseas. I was asked to describe a little bit uh, what it was like to fly the CH-53K and to describe sort of the workload and some of the benefits. So I was a former 53 Echo pilot, so I'm familiar with the uh, legacy system, and I can tell you that it's uh, a step in technology. Uh, it's really to fly this aircraft is uh, just about a hands-off machine. Uh, with the fly-by-wire technology, uh, the pilot's task is really just to come up with suggestions to give to the aircraft and then let the aircraft go ahead and execute those. I would liken it to uh, to the advent of cruise control in a car. And so, uh, you know, you find the speed that you want, you set the speed, and you let the automobile maintain the speed for you, and all you do is sort of monitor for traffic. And that's pretty much what the pilots left to do in the, the CH-53K. If you had the ability to watch the demonstration we did the other day, uh, probably the highlight of the, uh, the finesse of the aircraft is that in a 30-knot gust of wind, uh, we were able to, to translate down the runway and execute a pirouette uh, as we went along, and you'll find that the uh, the rate at which the aircraft yaws during that maneuver doesn't change throughout. The pilot just applies a fixed amount of pedal, and then the flight control system commands a constant rate of yaw as it goes. Um, at the end of the demonstration, uh, we were left, based on the instructions from the tower, uh, to come into land uh, sort of opposite the way we would have chosen, and that puts the helicopter with about a 30-knot tailwind. Now this is kind of an unprecedented thing if you know much about helicopters. They tend to perform best when the wind's off the nose. But there's such a power um, excess with the 53K that the aircraft's able to come uh, to a precise hover with those kind of challenging conditions. And then the pilot mere, nearly, merely needs to uh, lower the collective uh, to land safely on the ground. So really, uh, the, the workload in the aircraft couldn't be any further reduced, I don't think. If it is, I'm without a job, so there you go.